Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you have a cool day, down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game of today's episode is called Destroy the Evidence. I am a side dude, and my lady's husband is coming home. I need to leave before things get really bad. So let's get some context. Wait, I thought there was a cutscene. Hold on, I said there was a cutscene. I need my wallet. Where could I leave it? Let me see. I guess all we have to do is find the wallet, right? Got it. How come I can't leave? Wait a second. What is going on here? Bro, I'm a side dude with a shirt that has a tractor on it? Loser. What kind of quality of man am I? Hold on, I think that this is the cutscene, right? It better be. I must have left my wallet at your place. Are you home? Honey, I'm not home, but Donald should be home any minute. Dang, are you drunk again? He must not find out about us. Chill, go get your wallet. The chaos under the doormat. Damn you, Martha. I have to save us. I'm not a side dude to nobody named Martha. I have to hurry up a bit. It could be anywhere. Okay, it's definitely not under the flower vase with piss on it. Let's see. What is that? What is that? I found a key. I found a random key. If this dude comes home and beats my ass... I will let him. Daddy, chill. Because I've been clapping cheeks for a long time. And you know what? I deserve these cheeks to be beaten. Because I have been the beater of cheeks. That's him. Holy shit. Bro, he looks roided out of his skull. He is going to take his roid rage out on me. That's definitely not it. I'm scared. I think that he's coming soon. To butt cheeks near you. What is that? Screwdriver? Can I have that? I want to have that. Where could I have left my wallet? Maybe upstairs in the bedroom? Maybe on the bed? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Dear Donald, our last meeting was wonderful. Your presence leaves a trace in me that will never go away. Your smile is a light in my darkness and your touch is all I feel. Well, what can I say? These fingers do magical things, you feel me? I can't repress what's bursting between us. I can't wait to see you again. Alice. Wait, Alice, I thought your name was Martha. Oh, wow. Looks like the victim in this situation is no one. Wait, so they're both cheating on each other? Okay, so if they're both cheating on each other, it cancels each other's out. I learned that in math class. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. We can keep clapping cheeks. No problem. All right. So, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Let me go in here. And is that it? Did I find my wallet? That looked like the thing that I saw in the intro screen. You managed to destroy the evidence and prevented the catastrophe. You lived happily ever after. Her husband never knew the truth. And then she dumped you too. Okay, so we were the side dude and then we started getting really lame and then she got another side dude on top of another side dude. So what happens if I don't find the wallet? Does the guy ever come home? Like, do we ever get to see what he looks like? Cause I wanna see the look on his face when he catches me, when he catches me doing my thing. Well, I wouldn't really be doing my thing because in order for me to be doing my thing, I would need his wife to be here. But I do wanna let him know that I let my dick swing. So I'm gonna hide right here because I do not wanna get jump scared. I don't know if he's coming in through the garage or if he's coming in through the front door, but I'm just gonna chill right here. I'm just gonna chill right here. I'm gonna let my wallet be there. Let's see what happens. You know, I want him to see my face. I want those problems. So we're just gonna wait for this dude, all right, everybody? And we're just gonna have a conversation. So right now, I just took a shower. I'm fresh, everything's clean, booty hole smells good. And I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, what the? I didn't even know that he was coming. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, his wife knew I was coming, but I did not see him coming. Next game of today's episode is called Grandpa's House. I'm gonna need Grandpa to close that mouth. He honestly looks like one of my ball sacks. The left or right one, it doesn't matter. He looks like both of them at the same exact time, if that makes any sense. But it says, pay attention to your bar. Do not tell me what to do. Thank you for dropping First of all. him off. Are you sure you can take him? Yeah, I'm sure. Just leave him to me. Bye. First rule of Grandpa's house, no games allowed. The fuck you say to me, little shit? Games at home, right? Good. Look at the time. It's so late. Off to bed now. I just got here and you're making me go to sleep? This dude's carrying me off to bed. I'm bed down sad right now. Nightmares, but that's no excuse not to sleep. If I find you not asleep or with any games, you'll be very severely punished. 
Okay. Also, All right, spiders Grace. everywhere. Swat them if you see them. Don't let the spiders on your bed. Or I what? Don't hear any noise in this room. No, go to sleep. Okay. So we just have to play video games, and Grandpa can't catch us. Don't fall asleep. Got you. Tap on any spiders before they land on the bed. You got it. Survive seven rounds? Bro, that first game, I just survived seven rounds with his wife. Now I have to survive seven more rounds? What do I do? Put away the games. Close the pillow. <gasps> the heck? Three objects spawn. Hit them before the timer runs out. What? What is wrong with you, bro? No, I, I hit it. Alertness. I'm so confused. Okay, I just wanted to see what Grandpa would do if I started playing the games. And yeah, I did get severely punished. This game is really dark. Just walk out. Bro, Grandpa actually has really good flexibility. I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Fucking Miles Morales? Bro, random spider, I didn't even know it was red. Don't make him mad. Bitch, don't make him ah! mad! I didn't know he could just lunge at you from outside the room. I didn't know, but now I do. And now it's time to lock in. Grandpa's coming. Put away the games. I'm not playing no more games. That's the last time you are going to jump scare me, Grandpa. Watch this. I'm done. I'm done with your games. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Grandpa. Okay, time for you to go. Time for you to leave. Why is this kind of creepy? Turn around. Go be with grandma or something. She doesn't have that much time left. Round two. Okay. Let's do this. Get out of my face. So just having it on, it's tragic what grandpa went through. Is it? Why is he taking it out on me? Three object spawn. Okay. Got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please leave, please leave, please leave, please leave. This game's kind of unfair. Because look at my alertness meter. Please. Okay, he's gone. What? You're getting sleepy. You need two devices to keep you awake. I even my phone? Okay, so every time he growls, he comes back in. But look at my alertness. I'm dead, bro. I'm so dead. You lost your energy. Bro, it's bedtime. I should just sleep. You're feeling sleepy. You're getting very, very sleepy. Where am I? Wait. Hold on. I actually have to go in this nightmare? Oh, God. Okay, this is kind of cool. You want me to run? I actually can't run. I just have to let spider cramps get me. Oh, I do run. Okay. This is interesting. Where do I go? He's not that fast, so I'm not really worried about it. But yeah, okay. I can pretty much power walk and I'll be all right. Wait, no I won't. No I won't. I'm dead. I'm done! I'm done! Grandpa's cooking me! I'm dead. Shit, mistakes were made. See, this is why I'm your grandson, because I'm a little bitch. Yeah, your nightmare induced cardiac arrest. Holy crap, this game is dark. The bar you see is how awake you are. I know, but it's so complicated. Use games to keep it full. I'm trying. Don't fall asleep. I'll try this one more time, but it is pretty difficult. I can't even lie to you. So let's just keep this on. There we go. Alertness on full. Grandpa's coming. Hello, Grandpa. I am just staring into the darkness, Grandpapa. Close the pillow. I did. Why are you checking on me though? Like, don't you have like a TV dinner to heat up or something? My alertness should be all the way up, by the way. With him looking at me like that? That's like a shot of adrenaline. That shit is creepy. Get out of here, grandpa. All right, got it. Let's just keep this up. Keep this up. Don't let the spiders get on the bed. Okay, I get it. This is easy, just keep this on. Keep this open. Prepare yourself. Okay, this is not bad. 
This is not bad, everybody. I think this game is actually pretty easy. Now that I know exactly what I need to do, all we have to do is be worried about when Grandpa comes in the room. That's it. That's it. So slip on these devices. Make sure no spiders come after you, boy. And that's it. But this is my last time playing. Just join him already? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Leave me alone. Mind your own business. Why do I feel like he got a little bit creepier? His eyes look a little darker. They look a little more buttholier. Like they look just so empty and soulless. Go. Get out of here, Grandpa. All right. There we go. Don't make him mad. Yeah, I think every round he gets a little more nastier. Oh, shoot. Freaking spider, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We only have two more rounds to go. Doesn't he find it weird, though, that I'm just sitting in bed with my eyes wide open? Come on, Grandpa. You're smarter than that. You've been on this earth for a very, very long time. You should know better than that. Okay, round six. We're almost done. Oh, freaking spider, dude. Grandpa? Is that you? Who else could it be? The pizza man? Mouse click to stay awake. Oh, shit. Okay. They just added this randomly? Hold on. Hold on. I need to mouse click. Y'all hear that? Clicking my tits off. Hey, at least I'm awake, though. Wait. What happened? I thought it was seven rounds. What? What is going on? What's that sound? The heck? Where do you think you're going? I have no idea. What? Two grandpas? I think I fell asleep. That's what it is. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I threw the stuff at his head. <laughs> Bro. Why am I impressed by this cutscene, though? If he catches me while I'm on the bike, and he has those old knees... I was gonna say, he has old knees, and he still caught me. That's the part that I can't stand. Like, when things don't make sense. Like, I can believe a lot of things, but that's... Those old knees? Come on. And we did it. Hooray for me. Can we play a clapping sound effect? Because I am great, and I escaped my own grandpa. Last game of today's episode is called The Prototype. I've seen a few YouTubers' thumbnails that specifically had the character from this game. Jacksepticeye, Eddie, and also Manly Badass Hero. I wanted to see what it was for myself, and this better be good. It says, Property of Pandemonium Technologies, Inc. This videotape is intended for use by personnel of Pandemonium Technologies, Inc. only. Well, I'm not part of that. What are you going to do about it? Sue me? Preliminary Model Assessment. Okay, let's assess this, everybody. Let's assess the models. You will conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the latest prototype developed by Pandemonium, whatever. Choose normal if prototype has responded correctly. Choose not normal if otherwise. Before you is the plaything prototype. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended for all ages. His features include lifelike movement, a lovely singing voice, I'll be the and judge of that. human-like response. We'll see. The plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your friend, your entertainment. All right. He is unlike any other companion. At Pandemonium, I saw we that, take by the way. pride like, I'm in not the quality ready. of our electronic puppets, ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Okay. Section 1. Arm area. Playing stimuli in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Let's pay attention, everybody. Let's do it. Oh, never mind. I mean, we still have to pay attention, but not by sight. That's annoying. If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your right should remain raised. His arm to your right. It is raised. So that's normal. But also his other arm was raised as well. But you know what? He was doing that from the beginning. He was kind of like this. I wonder if this is some brainwashing thing. This noise. Like, I'm about to get hypnotized. I'm about to give this dude my credit card information or something. If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your left should remain raised. That is also remain raised. But also my suspicions are raised as well. Head area. I love head area. 
<laughs> it's my favorite area to be in, honestly. Playing stimuli. Let's go. I'm already stimulated. If the prototype is responded correctly, his head should be tilting to your right. It is tilting to my right. So that's normal. I want it to get unnormal. I want it to get freaky zeeky. Can we check mark the box where I want it to get really freaky? Like late night freaky, like that first game? We were getting freaky. Me and that guy's wife, whoo! We were getting so freaky! Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Those were good memories. If the prototype has responded correctly, his head should be tilting to your left. Okay, so my left. Yep, that's perfect. That's definitely left. Eye area. So I don't get it. So this is the play thing, right? Does it only move if this noise starts playing? If the prototype has responded correctly, he should be looking to your right. He is. He's looking to my right. If the prototype has responded correctly, he should be looking to your left. He is looking to my left. Okay, that's normal. I didn't even break eye contact. Well, when you talk to people, do you look at them the whole time? Like, do you, like, have the eye contact the whole time? Or do you break it every once in a while? I used to have this friend that would tell me stories and talk to me, and he would always be looking off. He should be looking. He is looking. And I'm looking at him. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Section two. Singing voice. Oh, no. Come on, man. My ears are gonna bleed this early. Prototype singing voice will activate through a pre-recorded prompt. If prototype does not respond correctly... 40 lashes. Please ensure speakers are placed properly. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the If this is copyrighted, I will snap you. That's not normal. That wasn't normal, right? That devilish sound at the end? That sounded like Satan. Please sing happy birthday. I know happy birthday is copyrighted. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> ha -ha -ha -ha. Well... And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for... What? <sighs> Introducing... Well, hey there, kids! It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown! Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands! One, two, three, four... Why, so many friends came to celebrate today. I have a little present for you, birthday girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. Why are you looking over there? Not normal? Right? Gozo was looking the other direction. Response to conversation. The prototype will respond to a series of standard questions using pre-recorded responses. All right. Is Gozo gonna say my name? Is he gonna say like J or something? Hello. Well, hey there. Hey there. Is that not normal? Kind of stuttered, right? Not normal? I'm doing just well. Thank you. That's normal, right? What are you? I'm an electronic puppet, but I'm a smart one. Was that normal? Oh, that's not normal. I was created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... What? That's not normal. Imagine this being in your room, just standing in the corner of your room. You would die. <laughs> Why did the cupcake go to the doctor's office? Why? Because it was feeling crummy. Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, thank you. Now we know that we're never gonna do the jokes. That's normal though. Tell me another joke. I have a good one. What type? What the, what, what? Of tape. Do, do kidnappers use? Whoa. What kind of tape? Is that what you said? Stop that. 
He said, what kind of tape? Why didn't you come home, dad? Not normal. Oh, shoot. Dude, <laughs> not cool. <laughs> is that a birthday party across the street? That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Chris, look. They got a clown and everything. You think that guy has a family? Huh. Maybe he's got a dying clown wife or something? You dick. Ha ha. He's really going extra with the balloon animals, huh? It's all balloon dogs, dude. Whoa. Is that for me? That's normal, right? You were looking over to the right, now you're looking over to the left. I'm just gonna say that's normal. Hey, so uh, earlier I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardee's for dinner. Hardee's? Really? Couldn't even go to Taco you Bell? You don't have to bring home cake from that I wonder if he cake. hates you. I got you covered. Just... It's 9 p.m. Where are you? Not normal? Cole found your pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only thing of yours that he has left. Hmm. I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. Your son is worried. I'm worried. Don't you think that maybe the person you're talking to is missing too? Where the too? fuck are you? Like, there's been a series I of... I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. Jesus, Nick. Call me back ASAP. Rick. Nick. Nick Miller. That's... that's me. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead and tell me about yourself. <clears throat> I grew up in a small town all my life until I moved to a different... It's been a challenge trying to provide for us both. You're all reading that, right? I've been doing odd jobs until I saw your job listing. Because it's like breaking the audio by itself. I'm not touching anything. Look. I'm uh, looking for my next professional job challenge. Jobs? Yeah. I feel like I'm watching a mini what movie. Time? My current job is entertaining children at birthday parties. That sounds creepy. Could you demonstrate? Uh. <clears throat> well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown. Who wants to see a magic trick? Wonderful! Wonderful. Uh, thanks. You're hired. <laughs> really low standards, huh? What? You're hired. We could use someone with remarkable talent like you here at Pandemonium Technologies. Uh, that's... That's great. When do I start? Please let me go! I okay. won't tell anyone what to do here! I won't tell! I swear! Please! Leave the head. We don't want to damage it. It hurts! Stop! It hurts! What the fuck are you doing to me? What am I supposed to say to that? Not normal or normal? His transformation is finally complete. So Nick became now plaything. To test him out. How though? Hello. Well, hey there. Huh. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What are you? I'm an entertainment companion. Okay, I get it. I get it. Excellent. So they're like experimenting with humans to make them into these little android companion playthings.
Do you remember who you are? Okay. So yeah, the series of missing people are from the pandem- So yeah, Pandemonium Inc. was kidnapping people, turning them into these little playthings. I don't know how they do it though. Maybe they just like put them inside and cover them with like the material that they make, like these playthings. And then they're pretty much already dead, but they have like the music prompts to almost like make them do these responses just like subconsciously, I guess. That's what I'm getting from that. It says I'm in heaven, but I know some copyrighted music is playing right now and I obviously can't play it, but that was interesting. It was a cool story, I will say. All right, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.